counseling and working with Arab American uh, populations. So according to Hayes and Erford, uh, 2018, uh, Arab Americans are often overlooked in our society despite uh, the group's massive heterogeneity due to their physical features tending to match those of the dominant hegemony in the United States. Uh, Everybody thinks they're just more white people. Uh, this marginalization can be a source of frustration for many Arab Americans, as evidenced by Mirzar's 2022 stand-up special. According to Hayes and Erford, when Arab American people are recognized, it's usually uh, within a very negative context that's rife with stereotypes. Considering that the most recent wave of Arab American immigration has been uh, allies to the United States from Iraq, uh, it's very understandable that this could be uh, pretty frustrating for them. Similar to black Americans, Arab Americans may be at high risk for race-based traumatic stress. In general, Arab Americans maintain a more collectivist culture, tend to resist acculturation, except for those who don't. Spirituality, authoritarian parenting style focused on protecting family members, especially from outside interests, uh, kinship and economic success tend to be important for Arab Americans, except for those for whom it's not. In addition to being potentially closed off towards outsiders, many psychosocial issues tend to present with somatic symptoms. Um, and so Arab Americans tend to maybe seek the advice of a medical practitioner, and then these mental health issues may go unnoticed or undiagnosed. So those are all uh, barriers that could be in play for Arab American clients. As a suggestion, um, culturally adapted solutions focused brief therapy or even CBT that focuses more on solutions uh, may be more useful with Arab Americans because they tend to be more pragmatic in their approach to problem solving. Al Saeed et al. in a 2018 study suggests the addition of a cultural broker to help build trust um, between the client and the counselor and also helping the client to uh, and counselor to navigate the path of acculturation and cultural bias. Now, all that being said, um, it, Arab Americans are a very uh, large and diverse group. And so you're really going to need to get to know that client first bef before you can really assess how much of the standard Arab American culture they are still buying into, how much they've acculturated to the dominant American culture here, and really work out an individual counseling plan on a case-by-case -case basis. So that's just my thoughts. Uh, what do you guys think?